morning, Lenny. Good morning. So I'm just drinking my tea. I have to finish my tea before <laughs> before I start painting. Wait for people to come on. Good morning. It's horrible outside here today. It's like big fog. Um, so it's not nice, and I'm not planning on going anywhere today. Um, I hope the light's okay. Um, yeah. I was looking back at my um <laughs> the uh, subtitles. <laughs> This is like going through and checking them all and um uh, and um and um that's what I was gonna say. It seemed I seem to say um a lot before um people <laughs> here we go, just said it again. I'm like really conscious of it now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, before people come on and I start chatting to people, I seem to say um um a lot. Morning Lisa. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, I painted this was it yesterday or oh, I can't remember it was like a, a quick page then I put a background on it then I wasn't sure if I liked the background but I thought you know how I like doing double pages double pages oh you can see the sparkle on that one that's pretty um I thought I'd do finish it off so to say so that's what I'm doing this morning when I finish my tea if I dip my paintbrush in it I think um, painting white flowers is um, it was a bit daunting when you're not using white paint. So um, I usually do mine dirty grey, as you see. Thank you, Manny. I don't want to. I don't want to not drink my tea. If you hear me gulping, so I'm gulping it quick because it's a really nice cup of tea this morning for a change. Guzzle, guzzle. Yeah, so I'm, my plan is to put a bigger, another bigger one here, just to make a bit of a composition thing and some more like with these uh, daisy type flowers around the bottom and that and a bit of foliage. And then I'll show you how I did the background. Yeah, <laughs> so there we go. Oh. Okay, I finished my tea nearly. Hang on. I, that's that, that's that over there. <laughs> I haven't tied my hair back, so sorry if my dreadlocks um fall into shot every now and then. <laughs> and no, they're not bits of string. Um, I've lost my paintbrush. I just said um again. Um, <laughs> um, um, um. I'm trying to get them out of my system. <laughs> right. Um, uh, to paint the white flowers, what I usually do is this gonna again. It's gonna work, isn't it? Um, yeah, I usually use the, let me turn this around so you can sort of see, I usually use this dirty muck on my, um, <laughs> on my palette. <laughs> so that's what I usually, I usually add a bit of blue to it as well, because sometimes it's not a very nice muck colour, sometimes it gets a bit green. So I like this like mucky colour that you get on your palette. I mean, even this would be a nice colour over here, like a warmer, warmer muck colour. <laughs> Put a bit of that in there. So, yeah, that's my starting point for painting white flowers. This muck colour. <coughs> so, um, so, um, so, um. Let me just stop saying, um, um. So there's going to be a bigger, like a bigger flower up here, but one with not so many, I've got a vision in my head. I was thinking peonies, my peonies in my um, garden, I've got those single ones, not the fluffy, fluffy ones. And I know I spelt peonies wrong on the title of this. I don't know, it came up like this, because um, I did it on my phone. So, um, so, um, so, so the particular predictive text comes into play for some reason but I couldn't change it before I came live that's what I just noticed so this is a more open peony of the single variety that's my uh, intentions anyway so whether it works or not, I was trying to get like the 
the folds of the petals and things that stick a bit of bleach in you know I, I can't do it without a bit of bleach when you're painting and you get these sort of areas here they look make it look like the petals folding back so that's why I like doing it really loosey-goosey because you get interesting things happening so I'm trying to make it <laughs> so you can try to paint the shadows of the white petals if that makes sense and then the rest will fall into place especially when you do a bark bark <laughs> a dark <laughs> background got my was it turds fuddled <laughs> or furds tuddled <laughs> Murds, Murds fuddled. Oh, I don't know. I can't see that. When you think of trying to do it intentionally, it doesn't work, does it? <laughs> anyway, it's not been silly. Some serious artist, don't you know? <laughs> right, green, dark green. Oh, I'm all back to front. I went to go here. It's like. Normally my palette's up the other way, <laughs> so I'm having to think backwards. <laughs> How weird is that? Like I automatically go to that. This is that really nice dark, dusty green mixed with another green that I've got. There's a uh, Van, Van Gogh colour, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, however you like to say it. I never know which is the correct way, but let's make it up. I'm glad you hadn't noticed the spelling. That means, um, I think when you look at something quickly, you just get up in, you know how it like it registers in your brain. <laughs> Without being too terrible, I'm glad. <laughs> I was looking out there, what's a pen and pen in the knee? What's a pen and knee? What am I painting? I'm painting one of these. Apparently this is a pen and knee. I've got my um, computer on next to me and um, and um, 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 there we go again. It doesn't show me how many people are watching and that, but on my iPad it does. iPads are great. Have you seen the new iPad that's come out? <laughs> I want a bigger one, a bigger screen one. I've got the 11, is it the 11 inch? That size one? Is that 11 inches? <laughs> I seem to do most of my work on my iPad at the minute it's great I just love it you can sit anywhere and just do do work and then I just go to the, my main computer to finish things off if it needs doing <laughs> Oh, I've got a bit of like dark stuff right over here. But this is like a, another dark. My other palette. Let's stick it on top of there. It's probably got muck all on the bottom. Oh no, it's quite clean for a change. So I'm just get a bit of darkness in the middle of this flower. I suppose the dark green would have done, but um, add a bit more. Nice getting soft edges and hard edges and then it will like try to make the most of this um um <laughs> shadow that's forming there under the petal so um so um so um so um so um stop it Uh, it's amazing how many times I say it without, um, there you go, <laughs> without realising. <laughs> well, I've done that one. Let's do some little flowers down here. These are, these are just like this. So simple. It's all very simple. It's easy to do. Go and have a go. These are, these are day, white daisies, by the way. They don't look white, but they will when 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 you're done. It's still a big cluster of them. I like putting the middles in whilst they're wet because then it goes all smooshy and runs into each other. Yeah. 
these sort of orange and yellow middles, blobs, blobs and lines, that's all we're doing. When you think of um, painting like that, it's easier <laughs> if you're just thinking about painting blobs. When I'm teaching my poppy class, I always call the petals blobs. We're just going to paint a blob here and a blob there because I think it puts the pressure off you thinking it's got to look like a poppy or it's got to look like a certain flower. If you think, oh, I'm just going to do a blob there, then um, you think, yeah, we can paint blobs. Everyone can paint blobs. There's nothing that... And before you know it, the blob is a beautiful flower or something. Now I've got this. What was I going to do? I was going to paint one of, the, sort of one of these. One of those is just a line. And then if you'd like, use your whole arm. <laughs> You get nice loose lines and these are just lines on lines with a bigger line where you just push down your brush and then yellow dots the chat's very quiet today am i missing something no <laughs> I don't think anyone's chatting today. If you're watching, come say hi. I can't see how many people are on because I'm not on my uh, iPad watching. That's weird. Is it too early? It's really foggy here today. It's like really foggy. You can't see out. The, I can't see the end of my garden foggy. And these are just blobs. <laughs> blob blobs. And then let's do sort of one of these things, which is even easier to paint. It's just more lines and dots. I'm trying to like mix it up a bit, but um, but um, there we go. There's another um. Where could this go? I don't. I want some. I'm trying to get. <laughs> if you see me going like this, I'm trying to work out the uh, the composition. Let's just put some stems in for these lovely. Pretty daisies, see, nice sing, simple brush strokes. It's really simple. Easy peasy. Let's fill in that corner. I keep looking at my um, screen. My um, my um, my um. Why can't I say things without saying um in between? I think it's become a bit of a habit. I love that dark green. What was I going to do? I was going to do one of these sort of things just to keep it in. I'll do it coming up here. I know there's a centre of the page, but often when I'm painting, I pretend it's not there. So this is just like a twiggy branch, which can go all places. It can come up behind you, can't it? Can't really see. Then we're going to add some berries on the end, like orange berries. <laughs> That's okay, Melanie. <laughs> Hi, Fran. <laughs> Hi, Ezra. <laughs> hello. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, come say hello. I feel lonely. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I'm just putting a dark shadow under here, under the the uh, daisies. They're not as loosey goosey as this. These daisies wet, wet into wet because it's dried really quickly for some reason. I had the biggest shock in the world on Wednesday. Do you want to hear? Do you want to know what the biggest shock in the world was? You know. Um, Everyone's getting their estimated bills for their um, for their energy for next year. Well, my estimated bill, uh, it's ridiculous. It's seventeen thousand pounds for the year for next year for my gas and electricity. That's my estimated bill, and I was like, what? 
I can't afford that. That's just like ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> I know what I was going on about. Was it Wednesday morning? I was talking about it. Then I got a letter saying how much it was going to be. I was just like, that. That's just like stupid money. I know I'm down. There's, my house is down as a business when it shouldn't be really because it's not a business. It hasn't been a pub for like six years. <laughs> <laughs> when that came, I was like, what? Don't be stupid. How, how can... I was like, right, that's it. No one's going to... Oh, we're going to have candles. The lights are going to go off. You can't... I wish I hadn't put that there now. <laughs> I was like, no. And then I rang them up and they was going, oh, well, it's only an estimate. You're not necessarily going to use that much. And I was like, well, why send it to me and scare the hell out of me? You know? And please change me to domestic. Oh, well, you need to do this and this and this. They just make it so difficult. I can't afford that much. I mean, I don't think I even earn that much. It's bloody scary. I don't know how people were going to... I know it's gone up... Is it supposed to have gone up? It's gone up three and a half times. <laughs> Hi Margaret, thank you. <laughs> uh, I think I've done with my painting, my painting bit. I was going to do show you how I did the background. I might not stick around for all of it because um, I don't know if Charlie was here. She'd be going, "No, I want the background." <laughs> See, I liked it when it was like this on this page, and then I thought, "Oh no, I've got my neo colours here." You know, when you're just like messing around. So I've got this one. And the colour is umber. There we go, raw, raw umber. So I just scribbled the whole background and then went over it with the water. So you can see the scribble and then you can see the, the watercolour-y. Sorry, my voice is going. watercolour effect as well. And I do like to sharpen my um, Neo colours. Is that wrong? But you can keep the sharpenings and then um, it's broken. And then, <laughs> and then use them as a watercolour. <coughs> I don't know how they expect people to live. I don't know. It's just like crazy, manly, crazy prices. It's like it's like ridiculous. Right, I'm going to move to a very small house, small and cosy, where we're all falling over each other. I'm just scribbling, so you're going to have to watch me do this because I want to finish the whole page because I don't like pages that aren't finished. <laughs> so it might be really boring, I'm sorry, but it's quite therapeutic. It's like the um, ASMR thing, the colouring. You just like get a bit mesmerised by something. It's quite therapeutic, but then I get bored. I'll make you suffer too. I hope it's not a huge. I suppose I'll get this one done quicker because it's a bit. It's not as dense as the other one. I don't know, I've never heard that many. I don't think you can be jailed for using too much. I don't use much, it's just because. My, um, we've got like four adults in the house. I think it's because I've got a big house and last year I had the money to um, use the heating and I thought I'm not going to be cold <laughs> this year. Not so much. <laughs> I mean, in the UK, they're not allowed to turn off um, domestic, is it domestic heating and supplies? But if I'm like, because I'm under commercial, they could turn my mine off if I don't pay it. That's a bit scary. <laughs> but, you know, it's like, I don't know how on earth they can justify it going up. Mine's gone up three and a half times. 
everything's gone up, but not that much. I'm gonna like go and get a, a wind turbine or something because my garden is less likely to be windy. <laughs> This is the trickiest bit around these. <laughs> yeah, Lisa, it's nice when you can get somewhere small and cosy. <laughs> oh no, I was thinking, yeah, I just live off my, like last year I had my, uh, log burner on loads but it takes a lot of logs to heat up the downstairs and like coal because it's a big room but last year I had loads of wood and that I bought a big I bought loads of coal and I bought loads of wood and I had lots of wood from the garden to burn and things like that but now I thought oh yeah I'll go and buy some logs and that and they've gone up like two and a half times the price like a and the bag of coal, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, like, why is the price of wood suddenly shot up? Because it's in more demand or something. So that, yeah, I was gonna make some more money out of this. It's silly. <laughs> it's really silly. Scribble, scribble, scribble. My crayon's getting shorter and shorter. It's exciting watching me do this, isn't it? I'm going to turn my book around. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. And I was thinking, well, if my energy bill's like £17,000, and I know that's like for a business, um, but I don't even have the lights on all the time. I don't have the heating on all the time because it's not open as a business. And I was thinking, gosh, how much are like business owners, like little shops and things where you have to have the lights on, you have to have the heating on for your customers and like small cafes and small bars and things like that. I'm thinking, how on earth are they going to afford that much in energy bills? Everywhere's going to be like going bust and closing down. And the one thing that annoyed me more than anything is when I rang them up, they were just all so blase about it. Oh, well, well, that's how much it's going to cost. But you won't necessarily use that much. I'm like, <coughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Lots of places are just going to close. And it's just be the big companies that are going to, like, survive sorry for my hair's going in the it's exciting isn't it Sometimes when you, you do this and you give a dark background, you need, you get, have to go back in and do the shadows a bit darker. Mm. 
I'm not very precise about my colouring, just colouring in. <laughs> you can make the, the petals stand out, like if I wanted this one here to be like that, you can like edge, edge a petal, make it stand out a bit more. The white petals, just do a bit of scribble around here, I'm getting bored now. <laughs> I get bored really easy. I think I've got that attention deficit thing. And I'm always distracted as well. <laughs> yeah, that one. This is that hasn't really got, yeah, I suppose it's got a little grain to it, this grain of paper. Anyway. What's my brush I used for doing this? I used to like a really stiff little brush so I could get in the no nooks and crannies. That's my um, Scottish um, <laughs> Scottish accent, by the way. <laughs> just in case you didn't know. And then I just go over it like this and make it. It's not really. It's not like you don't have to be exact. It's quite scribbly and nice and loose and sketchy which I like it is in my sketchbook after all so now you're gonna to have to suffer this it's like that magic painting remember those magic painting books I used to love those my auntie always used to send them to me when I wasn't well hear footsteps I think it's my son he's going to work if you hear snoring that's the dog <laughs> I quite like sitting in my bedroom painting Yeah, many the price of um, petrol and diesel has come down a bit from before. It was like going up to the two pound a litre mark, but it's not not as much now. Oh, I don't understand how the petrol prices can come down, but gas and electricity are going up. It's strange. So I'm not being like really spectacularly neat with this, but that's the way I like it. <laughs> but it just gives a nice effect, I think, and it makes the um, the white flowers stand out. The white penny flower, pen penny flowers, <laughs> as you will read. Um, I will, must remember to change that when I'm finished. I'm just putting my finger down because the pages are like, I haven't got much more to do. I'm determined to finish this book. I thought, well, I, if I leave it out, I might um, do some extras like I did this one extra. So it was all going to be um, filmed. I did film this yesterday. So when I finish the book, I'm going to put a whole film together of me painting the whole book. It might go on a bit. <laughs> But not, I'll speed it up, of course. <laughs> but I think I've filmed every page so far. I can't remember when I started it. I, I should write the dates in. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Fran. <laughs> oh, Margaret has, does also have Cyril. Cyril's all right. He's getting on a bit. Bless him. He's like, he sleeps a lot. But then he has his moments where he's like crazy. But I suppose, I don't know, he's seven. But no, he's not seven. I keep saying he's seven. He's not seven. He must be ten now. He's got very grey in the face. And um, my sister's got a Jack Russell. He's mixed with something else. He's not like a pure breed like Cyril. But he's 18. So um, he's still got years left in him. <laughs> it's really nice at the moment because he goes through, went for a stage where he kept waking me up in the night to go out. Oh, but um, he's taken to sleeping, which is nice. <laughs> So I'm getting a better night's sleep. I mean, I've been sleeping like like a log lately. It's really nice. After my weeks and weeks and weeks of having like two or three hours sleep and then been woken up in the night and then can't get back to sleep. And I've started to become accustomed to going back to sleep because um, Steve wakes up really early to go to work. I think he was up at half three or something this morning to get to work early for something and um and that before I used to like wake up and then stay awake because I couldn't go back to sleep but now I, I'm managing to go back to sleep which is heaven <laughs> <laughs> yeah Lisa I was thinking that the other day and I was thinking oh it's getting old everyone's getting old <laughs> When you're young, you don't think, do you? I remember people telling me, oh, my nan especially telling me, oh, life just goes so quickly, make the most of it. And you, time just goes really fast. And, I mean, she was, she lived till she was 90, 96. She was born in 1889. So she's been gone a good few years. But what she lived through, she lived through loads of stuff. She used to have an amazing life, and I'm, I'm a bit sad that I wasn't old enough to um, appreciate asking her all these questions <laughs> about life back then. Like, she lived through the 1920s. I mean, how fabulous is that? Like, when I, I'm like, why didn't she keep all her clothes? <laughs> I love 1920s clothes. <laughs> and like, she grew up in London. <laughs> yeah, feeling secure does make a big difference in it to sleep. I think when I went away in in my camper van, I sleep really well in there because like it's small and cozy and. I think it's because I was away from everything and I think that broke my habit of waking up in the night which was really good I think it, it, once you start waking up loads in the night and it becomes a bit of a habit thing so, oh look I finished <laughs> there oh she didn't keep journals mainly Many was asking that my nan keep journals. No, I do sometimes, but then I get bored and then I stop writing things. <laughs> uh, she didn't write anything down. Or if she did, um, I don't know. I've got photographs. I might have to dig some out. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, so, da -da, finished. That's that page done. Hopefully it won't tra the brown won't transfer like that other black one has. I should put a fixative. Where is it? Hasn't done so so much on this, and that was that um, crayon. What do you call it? Crayon. Tem tempura. But on here, it's like smudged over a bit on these ones, which I like. I could do. But there we go. It's that one. I'd like to do a whole book of pages with dark backgrounds. How brilliant would that look? That would look really nice, wouldn't it? If everything was dark. Anyway. I was trying to look at the time. Oh, it's only half half now. Oh, that's great, Lisa. Yeah, I wish I was older because when my nan died, I think I was like 13. 
14 you don't have you don't think about things like that do you because um she had my mum when she was in her 30s and then my mum had me when she was in her 40s so um we're all late, late and have older parents so um so um <laughs> but so you know what I mean I, I, I didn't appreciate that when you're when you're 13 you don't appreciate things like that anyhow da -da. <laughs> finished thank you for joining me if you're new please give us a thumbs up and subscribe hit the subscribe thing that's down in this corner somewhere <laughs> you can join my channel as well and that helps support me i know i'm not very active on there doing stuff and putting just for members things up on there because I had computer issues. I don't have computer issues anymore and I still don't do it. So, um, sorry about that. <laughs> but it does help support me keep doing this because I don't get much money from YouTube, as you know, people know. Unless you get like thousands and thousands of views. Maybe I just need thousands and thousands of views. I think I'm five, five subscribers away from 25,000. So please subscribe if you haven't already. You don't get, it doesn't make a difference to anyone really. It just shows up on your YouTube thing. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I should go now. And I'm practicing, practicing not saying um so much. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Or oh, have a good weekend and I'll see you Monday. Bye.